Wiring is very important in the life of an electrical and electronics engineer. The reason being is you don't want to be in a situation like this. So today, we are going to look at how to do wiring in Purchase 8 Professional. But before we start, kindly pause that red button and subscribe to Phoenix. Also, don't forget the bell so that when a new video is being uploaded, you will get the alert. And now, let us get started. So our wiring start up by just finding the right components to be connected. So we have our VSOS here. We have our resistor. Let me put one here. All right, so now we want to connect this here. If you come to the tip of the terminal of any component, like here, it will indicate the color will change at the tip of the pen. So just click on it, drag it to the other, and then the color will indicate. If you pass the color, it will show you error. All right, but when it is at the tip, you just click, it will be connected. Okay, do the same thing for the other. So that is how you go about in placing your wires at the tip of the terminal of any component. Now it's connectivity by touch. Now let us say we place a component against a wire. Let us zoom in as we can see. If we place component on the wire, it will form a dot and that dot is called a junction, which shows that it is connected. How do we know? If you drag it out, you see that it is connected. All right. Now let us say again, we paste another component at the terminal of another component. If we put it there, it will be connected. How do we know if you drag the component out, you will see that a line will form which shows that it is connected. Now let us place a component in the middle of a wire. So if we bring the component, make sure that the terminals are placed on the two end of the wire. If we click, we show that it is connected. Well done. Good. So uh, next will be now let me say that um, I want to drag already place a component onto a line. If we drag it down to the line, you see that it is not connected because the dot is not formed, right? So that shows that it's not connected. Let's see how if we drag it out, see it is not connected. So if we join a line, bam, the dot is there, which shows that it is now connected to the wire. All right. Now let us try to paste a component at the junction. Okay. If you click on the junction, you see that it is connected. How do we if we drag the component out? Let's say the ground. If we drag it out, so we can see. The line is form which shows that it is connected to the junction. Okay, now let me see if I copy the component and paste it onto a line and see what will happen. Copy paste onto a line. If you paste it, it will not be connected. It has the same rule as the previous one when you drag already components to a line. It will not be connected. Oh, so you see. You just have to connect it with a wire all right so now let's say you copy you paste another component on top or at the terminal of the another component let's see if it will be connected it will be connected how do we know if you drag it out there will be a nice line that's good okay so we just connect it to the terminal which will form our circuit so guys, this is how you go about in connecting connectivity by touch. Our next will be routing. Okay. Um, as we know that most of us work with one or two of this component. So um, most of the time we have to connect several 
lines or do several wirings to other components so we can simply say this is auto routing okay it will connect automatically but you say okay now if you say let me do this and i want to do another one out here so it becomes difficult to connect sometimes so that's how this manual routing comes about you have to decide which route your wire should take now let us say i want to uniformly place my wire like this it will indicate that red that x something like a cross mark it would indicate a cross mark down here so we can go up come here click at this point again come here click here and then you go there you go do the same thing for this other go there you go now it will automatically follow the previous line even without clicking it will automatically follow you just have to drag the cursor and it will follow the cursor see i'm not clicking anywhere it is the one following it remembers the previous route go like this okay good all right so now if you want to extend this line out you just have to highlight this line and then it will be indicated you see you can extend the wire out you can bring it in okay you can move it to your desired location you can extend it outwards or inwards and now thank you for watching this video